Hi, in this video you will learn how let your drone follow you. Or track you. Or orbit around you while it is following you. All this, with the updated Virtual Copilot 2.0, that you can find in Maven app. Before continuing, we strongly recommend that you see the first Virtual Copilot tutorial, where the basic functions are explained in more detail. Find the link to the video in the description below. In this video we will cover everything new. Let's get started. To start the Virtual Copilot press the three points button as usual, then tap Copilot. This is the updated Copilot interface. As you can see, now here, you have a selector to tell the Copilot, whether to focus on a point of interest, or on you. Select. You. Let's see all the buttons you have available, to tell the Copilot what to do. We have Automatic Yaw, and Automatic Camera Tilt, which you should already know from the previous tutorial. Then we have the Track Me, and Orbit button. Cable Cam. Follow Me. And finally the Altitude Follow button. In the lower right corner, we have a new indicator, for the GPS status of your device, to use follow or tracking functions this indicator must be yellow or green, for more details consult the user manual. Activates the automatic yaw, and the automatic tilt of the camera, to make the drone frame you. When you activate automatic camera tilt, the virtual copilot, now offers you a new framing option. 1. Keep the subject in the center of the frame. Or, 2. Hold the subject in the lower part of the frame which allows to reveal more landscape. With automatic yaw and automatic camera tilt active, you can still fly the drone freely, while it will continue to frame you. Or you can leave the drone stationary in flight and do some action. The copilot will automatically frame you. The application can follow your altitude variation. To do this it uses the barometric sensor of your device. Sometimes there may be differences in altitude, between the detected and the real one. For this reason there are these two buttons to correct in case of need. Normally you can freely move the drone up and down, but when you activate the altitude tracking function, with the gas stick you no longer directly move the drone up and down, but rather set the relative altitude between you and the drone. To use the app while cycling, we use this remote control holder, which did its job. I leave you the link to the support, in description below. Now let's see the follow me function. By activating follow me, altitude tracking is also automatically activated, obviously you can deactivate it if you want. With follow me active, the drone already starts to follow you, keeping the distance from you, equal to that at the moment of activation. You can change the follow distance with the pitch stick. Forward to decrease the distance. Backward to increase it. The drone will automatically adapt to the new setting. You can change the distance even as you move. When you start moving the drone follows you automatically, adapting to your speed, and doing its best to respect the set distance. With the follow me function, the drone only performs forward and backward movements, to maintain the selected distance. He does not make lateral movements, for this reason, he will practically end up following you from behind. Track me. 
With TrackMe active, the drone not only maintains the set distance, but it will also try to keep the angle between you and the drone. To do this, unlike the Follow Me, the drone moves in every direction, effectively copying your every movement. This will allow you to be followed from any angle, not just from behind. With TrackMe active, you can use the roll stick to select a rotation speed. Clockwise or counterclockwise, the drone will start orbiting around you. As with Follow Me, the pitch stick changes the tracking distance and consequently also the radius of the orbit. You can change radius, speed, and altitude of the orbit on the fly while it is running. And of course, the coolest thing is that you can do all of that even while it's following you. Cable Cam Activating Cable Cam, exactly as you have already learned in the previous tutorial, you have to choose an endpoint of the cable, by touching a point on the map. Once you have selected your destination, use the pitch stick, to select the speed of the drone along the cable. The drone will travel along the cable, at the selected speed, while it will continue to frame you, even if you move. This and your imagination will allow you to perform unique shots. Whenever the drone moves automatically, a big stop button appears on the screen. You can tap anywhere on the top bar, to immediately stop any automatic movement. Or, unless there is a full screen map, you can just tap anywhere, in the center of the screen, much more convenient in case of panic. Update the home point position. After the drone has followed you for a certain distance, it may be convenient to update the home position, to prevent the drone from automatically returning to the takeoff point due to low battery. For this reason, we have added this button, that allows you to update the home point to your current position. Tap it to instantly see the new home point. In settings, you can also configure the automatic update of the home point, based on the distance traveled. That's it for this tutorial, if you found it informative, please leave us a like, and subscribe to the channel so as not to miss the news of the Maven app. Ciao.